Updating ESP8266 firmware over the air from the Arduino IDE. Outlined over on GitHub regarding the ESP8266 over the air updates. When doing this, the ESP8266 and the computer you're using Arduino on must be on the same network. Of course, you need the Arduino IDE. And the latest right now is 1.8.8, .8, which I have, and I previously was using 1.8.5. Both were giving me certain issues, and there is a workaround. We'll look at that later. You also need to be set up in the Arduino IDE to use the ESP8266. So you need to install the boards manager and things like that, and there's instructions there. You also need Python 2.7. And so once you have the prerequisites installed, there is an example Arduino OTA sketch called Basic OTA that we can look at. Arduino OTA is included when you install the ESP8266 board support. So we'll just skip through this. You of course have to put in your network name and password in that sketch or whatever sketch you're using and you upload as normal with the serial port because we're not yet ready to do anything over the air. You basically need a sketch in the ESP8266 that's capable of listening over the air for requests to do an update. So the initial firmware has to be put in directly with serial. Once you upload and the sketch is running, it'll join the network and display the IP address. And what's supposed to happen is, when you're choosing what port to use to upload a sketch, there should be a new over-the-air ESP8266 port. And that's where the problem comes in with the Arduino versions. I could not get that port to automatically show up with my 1.8.5 or 1.8.8. .8. It just kept showing the regular USB COM ports. Now I can get it to show up if I close the Arduino IDE and reopen it while the ESP is running. And it even says right here, if OTA port doesn't show up, exit the IDE and open it and check again. It seems to be 1.8 related for the Arduino IDE. And all you do is you select that ESP module as your port that you want to upload firmware through and just upload a sketch as usual. Then you're doing it over the air instead of direct serial. There's some other optional features like in your sketch you can set a password which you'll get prompted for when you try to upload a sketch and there's some other things we'll look at. You can for example set the name of this module in case you have multiple on the network and you don't want just generic ESP8266 looking names. You can give them identifiers and once you've chosen to use an OTA port you can no longer use a serial monitor on the USB serial port because you're using a wireless port, but you can run a separate terminal program and connect to the USB serial port if you're still plugged in. So you'll be programming the module over the air, and because of that the serial port is freed up and you can access it with the terminal program. So you would configure a terminal program to whatever the COM port is that ESP8266 is normally on. And then you can see what's happening when you do firmware updates over the air, if there's any problems or what the progress status is, things like that. So that basic OTA sketch is in the examples under Arduino OTA. So this is what it looks like. You include the required things for Wi-Fi as well as Arduino OTA. You set your network name password. Then you start up, join the network. So if you want to give it a unique name, you can set host name to some string. You can set a password if you want to have that pop up during flashing. And if you want to print out debug messages for all phases of doing an over the air update, when you start the update, you can figure out if you're updating a sketch or the spiff file system and print out a debug message confirming what you're about to do. When you're done, you can print an end message. While the update is happening, you can show a progress report, and if there happens to be an error, you can detect what kind of error and show that. But all of that is optional. All you really need to do, make sure you're on wireless, and then begin the Arduino OTA. In the main loop, you have to make sure you call the Arduino OTA handler so it can go in and check if it's time to do an OTA update. If by chance you have a very time sensitive main loop and you don't really want to add in some extra routine that you have to go out and handle, you could make this just so that it's not constantly looking for over the air updates. 
You could just put this in the setup routine, have maybe a five or 10 second loop or something where you're looking for OTA update attempts. And if you don't get one within the short time period, just continue on and then run the main loop and never check again. So if you wanted to do an OTA update, you would have to go reset the module somehow, either directly or through some web interface and get it to check if there's an OTA update happening again while you're in your startup routine. I took that example sketch and took out everything that's not really necessary. I still wanted some serial debug and I wanted to know where I'm at joining the network, but this is the absolute basics. So the network name and password would go here. We only really need to include Wi-Fi and OTA headers. So we join the network and display the IP. And all we gotta do is say Arduino OTA.begin. And then in the main loop, I just do the handling and I don't have any code here, but this is fine. This will just run as an empty program. All it's doing is checking if I'm trying to do OTA updates. And that's all I need to do for a test right now. So I'm using the Node MCU board and I'm using my USB serial port and there's no ESP8266 over the air port showing. So I've uploaded this. I'm going to reset the board and have it join Wi-Fi again. So it's connecting. So I finally connected. And at this point, now there should be an OTA ESP8266 port available. I've done all kinds of things. I tried leaving it for a while. I've tried restarting the ESP several times. The only way I can get this port to show up is shut down the Arduino IDE and launch it again. So I'm gonna do that now. Now I'm back. So now if I go and choose port, now I have the ESP8266 and there's my IP. So I'm going to choose the ESP8266 as the port to program and the serial monitor immediately disappeared because it's not supported over the air. So I'm running cool term on the Mac and I'm connected to the regular serial port for this module because I am still plugged into USB so I can still now get my debug messages if I do anything else. So now that the ESP is up and running and it's capable of receiving over-the-air updates and my port is the over-the-air network port, I have another sketch to blink an LED. So this sketch as well, because I still want to be able to support over-the-air updates when I reflash the module, I still have to make sure I have Wi-Fi and over-the-air capabilities. Now I'm going to blink an LED on port D1. So that LED is right here with a series resistor. I could only find one case, so I put two in parallel to give me 500 ohms. I will put in my network info when I'm ready to upload. Same stuff, join Wi-Fi, show the IP info on the debug port, which is gonna show up over on CoolTerm now. And I, this time I want to configure the host name so that what shows up in the port is not gonna be something generic like this. I want it to say GR ESP8266. I, I'm using an 8266, so I don't need to change this port. I don't want a password when flashing. I'm the only one here. Nothing's gonna go wrong, I hope. And because I am using the serial port, I did allow it to show all these debug messages while it's doing over the air update. Then I need Arduino OTA.begin. And then in my loop, I'm going to go in and handle whether or not there's an over the air request. In the meantime, blink an LED with one second on, one second off. So over the air, let's upload this. So it's done uploading and now the module rebooted. It's joining Wi-Fi. It just joined and the LED is blinking one second on, one second off. So now that we have this sketch in here, which now includes all these serial port debug messages, when we do another over the air update, we should see all that debug info here because the sketch that was in here did not do any debug output. It just showed if we connected to the network. Oh, it finally updated the name of the ESP. Let's scroll back and see what it was doing in the terminal. So it had originally joined, connected to the Wi-Fi, showed me the IP. Then I chose to re-upload the same sketch. It did the over-the-air detect and started updating and showed me the progress, went all the way through, and then it said end when the Arduino OTA ended. 
then it restarted and joined Wi-Fi again, and now it's blinking the light one second on, one second off again. So that's the fast way to get up and running doing this over the air, but be aware that in the current Arduino IDE versions, you may have to close it down and reopen it to get the over-the-air network port to show up. Otherwise, seems to work well.